so, uh, I think there's sort of two things that kind of prepared me mentally for Bitcoin. One is having a dad who's an economist and completely understanding how, you know, fake money is. And, and it's notable how when I told him about Bitcoin, he got it immediately too. You know, he didn't understand necessarily why the tech would work, but why the economics would work, it just seemed obvious to him. And, you know, it's pretty obvious to me. I mean, if you have something which has these right properties, obviously it could be valuable. You know, there's, there's really no question about that. But the tech side of it, you know, has kind of become well known. I mean, I, I tried to go invent uh, Bitcoin in high school and, uh, I got fairly far along on a wrong approach. So I was, you know, I, I'd already kind of thought through a lot of these problems and me seeing proof of work and how those incentives worked and how the verification worked. It, you know, it's just one of those things where I looked at the first, I was like, oh, shoot, yeah, obviously that would work. Can you identify like the, the logical point where, where you started going down the wrong path? Yeah, well, so my attempt to uh, invent Bitcoin, um, the farthest along I'd gotten was the idea of using a distributed hash table as a mechanism to sort of store coins or sort of store information about coins. But where I re like what I really kind of missed there, I think, comes down to putting too much focus on this idea of proof of work minting coins and too little focus on the idea of verification of history, you know, verification of how the state of the system has changed. And it's interesting how academia with their work on consensus systems has also gotten this wrong. You know, acad academic works on consensus systems focus on how do you get a group of computers to agree with each other rather than focusing on how do we create a data structure that can be interrogated and checked for its validity by itself. And, you know, the easiest way to describe it is in traditional computer science consensus research, there's no definition of what is or isn't valid. They just try to get things to agree, regardless of whether or not they're valid. 